What is going on with you, YouTube? This is Regular Dave coming at you with another video. Matt and 16 Draft Champions. We're going to look at a draft real quick. And I got some questions for y'all. And I got some questions for EA. I want to know how the hell do they come up with these overalls, man? Every um, offensive and defensive overall is between the 79 and the 82. The team is never higher than like an 81 or 82. It's the highest I've seen. And for offense, the highest I've ever seen is 82. And for defense, same thing. How do they come up with this? Watch this draft I had. Watch the players I took and tell me how they came up with my offensive overall. All right, first out the gate, we have a little choice. Johnny Manziel, first out the gate, I was like, I ain't about to draft no backup quarterback. You can't win the starting job, Johnny. So I went with Peters, an 88 overall left tackle. Great choice in my opinion. Let me know in the comments, man. Great my draft. Tell me how I did. All right, next up. We got a choice. This one was difficult. I couldn't really figure it out. I knew I was going to either go. Um, I went with the cornerback. With the cornerback, it was a hard decision. None, nobody was really highly rated. Then they gave me some more nondescript cards. I probably should have went with the Honey Badger just for the return issues. But I do like having good defensive tackles because that ensures that people don't run up the middle, middle on you. Now, next we got Jermichael Finley. Is he still in the league? Like, got it. Is does he play for I'm, I'm confused all right we got your michael finley uh durant and uh linval joseph i i'm telling you i'm trying to shore up that middle all right now we got some heavy hitting cards and come on man how could you pass it out how could you pass up ap all day had to go with ap so we got a star at running back next up uh they got teddy rated a little too low he needs to prove himself a little more before he gets that rating up but look i went with a center to shore up that offensive line Next up, Matt Jones, who's been going crazy. He's taking away the carries from Morris, who I got on my fantasy team. I'm trying to trade him, um, but I go with I go with Roddy White. So let's let's go with let's let's have some playmakers at the corners. Overall, 83 at wide receiver. So that's definitely not a bad choice. Next up, uh, we got some highly rated players. I I got a running back, so Hill ain't ain't the one I'm going with. And I like controlling the middle linebacker, even though I'm out of position all the time. But I want to choose a good one. So I got Derek Johnson. Next up, we got Tillman, Church, and Brian Cushion. I thought Cushion's rating would be, be a little higher. Maybe they ain't got him on that juice from his rookie season. Um, but I think I go with a cornerback here. I already got a middle linebacker, so I can't take Cushion. Uh, so I went with the cornerback. I went with Peanut Tillman. All right. Next up, we have, wait, Legends in round 10. We got Steve Atwater. I wish they would have had Bronco Clinton Portis. And we got John Elway. I'm taking my favorite quarterback of all time. So I got a legend in round 10. I got a 93 at quarterback. I got Adrian Peterson. I have Roddy White at the corner. Next up, we have, uh, let's see, Kyle Williams, Dante Hightower, and Haloti Nada. All right, man. Look, where, I don't even remember what I went with here. I do got some beasts um, as defensive tackles. So I said I'm going to go with the right outside line, linebacker rated 87. All right, I'm getting highly rated cards. I'm getting good cards, man. I'm not getting a whole lot of those 79, 80 cards. I'm getting high 80 cards. Took Percy Harvin. I knew I wanted to put him in the slot. He's a matchup heaven um, in the slot. And in the next round, we have more highly rated cards, man. We got Michael Bennett on the line. Um, already got a middle linebacker. And we got um, Antonio Rogers Camardi. So let's see if I can make it happen and choose the right selection i'm looking at my cornerbacks and they can get beat i'm also looking at that left end and i like a little pressure on the quarterback so i took bennett next up all right this is not the best selection right here but you got rob ninkovich sean lee who's turning out to be a beast but i needed some back end help so i went with gibson now we have the uh legendary round a second legendary round which i've never seen Second legendary around, Joe Horn, Walter Jones, and Derek Brooks. I said, why not keep the theme of having this beast um, offensive team? Okay, so, all right. I got John Elway, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time at quarterback. I got Adrian Peterson, one of the greatest um, running backs of all time. Joe Horn is rated 92 overall. Great Hall of Fame career. And I got an 81. And I got Percy Harvin in the slot. Like, what else do you want from me? How is that an over, overall 81? I've had 81 teams where I didn't even have a good quarterback. How do they come up with this stuff, man? Also, what's up with the double legendary pack? That's a little bit of, of an advantage if you're playing against somebody who wasn't able to get two legends. Joe Horn, John Elway, Roddy White, Percy Harvin, Joe Horn. Like, come on, man. 
all right get active in the comments let me know about you guys' drafts some of the weird things you've seen some of your experiences and i'll get at you guys another time peace